Hey guys, this is Jim K in 4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I have a new gadget to share with y'all. This is a hot air rework station. Um, I will put a link in the description below to which one this is if you're interested. <clears throat> I got this off of Amazon. This is not a top of the line one because I have no idea what I'm doing with hot air stations. I've never used one before, but I need to be able occasionally to do some some soldering or desoldering as the case may be and this is a whole lot easier to use supposedly than a soldering iron all i have ever used in my almost 60 years of life is a soldering iron all the way from cheap radio shack junkers at eight or ten dollars to a very nice weller station with a thermostat and digital readout and all that kind of stuff so i've never messed with one of these today in this video we're just going to unbox it i'm going to get it plugged in we'll take a look at it and see what it's about so, I don't normally do unboxing videos, but we're going to make an exception here. This is our surface mount device rework station. Here's the manual. And then here are setup instructions for this. And this will not be a build video on how to put together a rework station. And this gives the specs of our station and how it's used overview of all the pieces and parts and the terminology used and of course the safety stuff don't use this in the shower or out in the rain or while juggling chainsaws that would be dangerous make sure that it's plugged in and you're not standing in the bathtub while you're soldering and then this gives some basic tips on how to use it and uh, and get it set up for use um, in a previous video I did uh, with the desoldering components, soldering paste comes with a temperature profile and you want to match that temperature profile up with your hot air station if you're soldering or desoldering, that kind of thing. So we have Avia power cord. I look here, here comes a, a desoldering solder sucker. So that's cool, it came with one. I've got a spare one. This looks like a mount piece. Uh, some tools, a pair of snips, tweezers, a wee screwdriver, some other gadgets that are part of the system. That fell out of the bag. That looks like a foot for the actual station itself. That looks like a tool holder that mounts to the station. Here are our various tips that would go on the station with different size barrels for putting out different amounts of hot air, obviously. <clears throat> also part of the tool mount system. Here is our actual, oh, we got more stuff here. Let's, we'll save the big piece for last. This looks like a stand to hold the tool mounts. And I'm going to put this together. Uh, we probably speed that up or I'll just not put that on camera. But I don't want to bore you guys too much with watching me read instructions and figure out how to assemble all this. Here is our... Oh, we got more bits. Can't look at that yet. Here is the solder rework wand gun device. And you can see our, our uh, air tips fit into there. And then this heats it up and has a blower motor to blow air through it to heat up. Okay. That's empty cardboard. And here is the sauce. This is like opening Christmas presents. Try to do it neatly. It takes all day. So this is our hot air re rework, rework station. That is hard to say. And as I said, this is not... This is not high-end. I bought this myself. Um, so we have a basic on and off switch. There's where our wand goes. This is to turn the temperature up and down. Um, this will display in either centigrade or Fahrenheit. Um, I'm a Fahrenheit kind of guy. Um, I can deal with centigrade, but I can't convert it in my head. This is our airflow, right? How much air we're blasting out of the device at one time. And so, you know, since you're soldering with this thing, it does get fairly hot. 
the back side it shows our service tag, the model. So this is a new a Kalox. I don't know if that's an A or just a Dingus. New Kalox, new a Kalox soldering station, uh, hot air rework station rather. This is a 858D or A. Take your pick. Uh, input power 110. It uses a standard NEMA 110 plug. Power is 700 watts of, of output power. So we could do some math and figure out the amperage this thing would draw. Um, it's going to be somewhere below 8 amps since we have a fuse that is rated for 8 amps. So if you're running this out in your shop in the wintertime, you probably don't want to plug this in the same 110 circuit that your heater's on. Just saying. Or your microwave. And that's it. So this is the basic device. I'm going to I'm going to flip through the instructions and we're going to get this thing put together. And then All right, so we've got our solder station put together. I have a few leftover parts. We'll talk about that in a minute. The, uh, the airflow tips are designed to fit snugly on the end of this thing. They don't really click or anything. They're just friction fit, but they're fairly tight. This little hingus right here is to hold the tips. This would be to put our uh, reflow wand in with the appropriate tip of course and then you could lower this down and move your work underneath it so you've got both hands you've got both hands free right let me uh, scoot that over a little bit and this thing rotates around so you can set it wherever is convenient for you right <clears throat> the wand also obviously sits there you could use that to when it's cooled off on the front of the device let me move the wand out of the way on the front of the device of course this is our airflow here our temperature reading will be in either centigrade or fahrenheit this will raise or lower the temperature appropriately the solder tip the wand the hot air wand plugs in there and of course there's the power switch to turn this thing on it um i've had it on in about 700 degrees and it will burn cardboard easy peasy so I typically solder around 350, I believe, centigrade, 340 to 350. Um, this will reach 340 to 350 easily. The tips vary on this by the diameter of the throat on the tips. So depending on what you're doing, you would change these out if you want a tighter area or a broader area, so on and so forth. And that's pretty much the device. <clears throat> um, there's not much to show you with without anything to solder, desolder. It came with some tools uh, and some mystery parts. So it's got two separate sets of tweezers with it, a straight set and a, a curved set. It came with a set of side cutters, which if you don't already have some of these, you should. These are the greatest invention in the world since vice grips. And it came with the mystery parts. So the mystery parts are a small screw, a plastic rod, and this little filament. And the best I can figure out, and this is not covered in the documentation, is that possibly you screw this down right here so it's tight with the screw, with a little tiny screw, and then you can use this to help edge components up as you heat them. I believe that's what this is for. I'm not 100% certain. Um, if anybody knows, uh, feel free to drop some 411 in the comments below because I don't know. Um, that seems like what that would be for. And uh, as you can see from the, the montage there, I'm not even going to try. I need a smaller screwdriver. It took a little bit to figure out how everything went together. The, the device, as I showed you, doesn't come put together. You have to put on the the side mount for the holding the iron and you have to put on this assembly 
and then the bracket that holds the the tips on just uh, is double-sided tape on top of this thing so not exactly top of the line I, you know I don't know anything about hot air stations this is the first one I've ever had I've never done any surface mount work at all I've been using a soldering iron for oh lord probably 45 50 years since I was probably nine or ten years old <clears throat> a lot of cheap Radio Shack ones in the history um, I've stepped up obviously now to something better but uh, I've never done any surface mount stuff so this will be new for me and uh, like I said I'll put out a video in a week or two and we'll we'll take a look at this and some desoldering um, the desoldering products I've showed in a previous video and see how that works and we'll uh, we'll test that out a bonus this also came with another solder sucker um, I have a kit I just bought, but this is the same kind of deal. Teflon tip. This thing should unscrew. It's on there tight. There we go. This thing unscrews. And there's a spring in there, obviously. And then you can see inside. And all this does is you push the plunger down. And when you hit the button, the spring pushes that white disc in there up. At high speed and uh, it causes suction and pulls the solder out for you and these things work really well I've I've had these for for years so that was in here too this is not a high-end when it's plastic but if it slurps solder off of a board then bonus it's doing its job so that's what we got with the hot air station there's not much to show you so I just wanted to kind of lay out what all the pieces were with it and uh, what all it would do. Guys, that's all I've got on this video. If you would, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And ring the bell so you're notified whenever I post any new content. Thanks, y'all. 73.